Hi, my name is Belgica and I live in LA and I actually live in a micro studio that I measured myself and because I didn't know how big this was and it is 120 square feet roughly and I really enjoy living here. It definitely got some taking used to because before this I, wanted, I was in a space that was about 400 square feet and now down to 120 and there are a few things that this apartment doesn't have that a lot of apartments do have but honestly I have been completely happy Happy living here um, I've had to adjust ways that I do things but I definitely am able to do everything I would like to do I even work out in this apartment and uh, of course I'm just very gentle when I work out I don't do any jumping but yeah I wanted to show you my apartment because this is a really really great option for somebody who is just moving to LA or maybe is in LA and has roommates and doesn't want to have a roommate anymore because this apartment is super super affordable okay so when you walk in you have a tiny little doorway area here so you you do have a peephole which is great you want to know who's outside your apartment and um, behind me is a small storage area I put my keys on this and my mask right now and a bunch of paper stuff so I use this as storage um, ideally I want to find somewhere else to put this so I can just put cleaning products here and of course I put my shoes just right there and when you come in you come into the main room the what's most of the apartment so when you come in and you turn to the left, then the door is right here for the bathroom. And this is the switch for the bathroom. Um, and in the bathroom, we have some gorgeous floors and the toilet. I decided to use this over the toilet storage because um, it's just allows for a lot more storage because there's literally zero storage in the bathroom. And if you didn't notice, there's also no sink so I do have a stand-up shower which is a nice size it's a good water pressure and just enough space to have everything I need so you know body wash or body soap my loofah shampoo face wash stuff like that um, and then the only sink in the apartment is actually this one I am very tall so I have big hands and just to give you an idea um, yeah I can almost touch the sides of it, but I want to say this is like 12 by 12 by, I don't know, maybe nine. So it's not that big. I do really like the lighting in this apartment, um, the fake lighting and then also the natural lighting. So right now it's around 2.30, I think, and the light is just gorgeous. It's allowing me to have beautiful plants in here, which I'm so excited about, but you also have recess lighting, which is so nice and just, Sometimes at night I just have to turn off the lights and just turn on a candle or something because I'm just like that light is so good, maybe a little bit too good. The ceilings I want to say are nine foot ceilings so it does feel nice and open in here. Uh, and then, okay let's go back over here. So there's the front door and then the bathroom is over there. And then right here, this is all stuff I had in my previous apartment and one day I was like, I want to make it feel more homey. What do I have so I don't have to buy anything new? So I have that little like San Francisco streetcar picture that I got at a thrift store, a mirror to reflect some of the light from the other side, and then this macrame thing that I got from um, Michael's. And okay, the next part, <laughs> it's a little messy in the closet, but this is my closet. <laughs> Right now it's a little bit packed. I mean, this apartment is small. I definitely want to get rid of some stuff, but because this apartment is so small, whenever there's, you know, three or four things out of place, it just feels like a lot more is out of place. It feels really messy really fast, which is nice for me actually, because it forces me to stay very clean and organized, um, especially when I'm using the sink, because this is the same sink I do my dishes in, I wash my face, I wash my hands, so I always have to keep that area tidy so that I can be able to use it for whatever I need to use it next. And then in this corner, we have another storage, which I do want to make better use of it because right now I'm just kind of throwing everything. It's mostly like self-care, beauty, makeup, that kind of thing that's in there. Um, and then I have my palm tree here or some kind of palm, I don't know, but she's dying. I've gone through like three of these. I always say, don't pressure yourself in keeping plants alive. Like just learn how to keep them alive. And I've learned that these ones I just can't keep alive in this apartment. And the last one I was doing great because my last apartment was nice and cool and darker. If you didn't see the video for that one, I also made an apartment tour. 
um, for that one, but it was doing great. And then this one is warmer and there's sun and it's just, it doesn't like this apartment, but I do. And then here's my kitchen area. I have a little bit of a cute, you know, little thing going on here with some books, an air plant, another plant that I got not too long ago and it is going crazy. Um, I put some mirrors there just for decoration, but also because you know when you're in the bathroom and you look at yourself when you're like brushing your teeth or wash your face or whatever, that way I can be able to see myself in these mirrors when I'm using the sink in the morning. Um, and I added some shelving for storage. I don't have an oven, which I thought I was really, really gonna miss, but I really don't care. And I have a mini fridge that works great. And then this area for storage for food, this area for storage for food and lots of decorations, plants. This is mostly for decoration. It does hold some stuff, but mostly for decoration. I have a lot of plants in that corner, AC unit for when it gets hot in LA. And then these beautiful curtains that I put up myself and I also put up the shelves myself. I know it's not that hard, but sometimes, sometimes it's hard. <laughs> um, and then here is my work area. So I have a desk right here um, with a stool if I wanna do sit on the stool chair or I can also pull the desk around the couch and I can sit on the couch and work on the computer. And then right outside my apartment, I really like this, is a fiddle fig tree and it's huge and it's just so beautiful. And I love opening up the um, curtains and just allowing the sun to come in and then the, re the sun reflecting on that tree is just so beautiful. But yeah, that's, all of my apartment um the things that i have got had to get used to was um not having an oven which wasn't that big of a deal it's just um i decided to buy blue apron so that i can just have exactly what i need for my meals so that's what i've been doing and it is amazing because before i would get just a bunch of different kinds of food and throw them in my fridge and because i have a mini fridge now all i need is my blue apron <laughs> um but 195 dollars okay it's 120 square feet but still to have your own space and i paid that flat i don't pay for any utilities the wi-fi is included and i make youtube videos so i upload three times a week so i do use you know a decent amount of wi-fi and of course i'm always streaming um like netflix and hulu i used to and stuff like that so yeah i just really i really really like this apartment i think it's so cute i love the lighting i mean my plants have been loving it um because it's just so bright like my plants in my last apartment were doing okay except for this one because she likes no light um basically and really cool and this one it does get warmer than my last one of course because i actually get natural light but i have an ac so that's fine i don't care but my plants are just doing amazing amazing and yeah i have some storage under the the couch of course oh my gosh okay so i totally forgot to mention this is where i sleep i sleep on this couch it turns into um a bed that is in between the sides of a full-size bed and a, a twin bed if you haven't seen my video for my last apartment that i have here in la that one is more like in the burbank area this one i think is more in like i don't know i'm not very good <laughs> at like describing where in la i am but this one I think is either near Hollywood or Mid City or something like that, I really don't know. But if you watch the other video, you'll see how I turned this into a bed. And then, yeah, it's really comfy. I was scared that this wasn't gonna be comfy because it was only like $490. I mean, I know that's a lot of money, but I thought like it's a couch and a bed that's gonna brighten up my space. It's, I'm gonna be able to sleep on it, sit on it, whatever. And I've only had it for what, like, six seven months and i i feel like it already paid for itself and its comfortability and usage because i mean i use it all day and yeah so i really like this couch i feel like this video is getting really long uh yeah if you're planning to move to la if you live in la and maybe you want to move to a cheaper apartment or a better apartment i love this one also the hardwood floors in here are amazing i love hardwood floors because they're really easy to clean but yeah if you're an actor looking to move to la or an actor that lives in la whatever I think this apartment is really, really great. And if you're scared of moving into a smaller apartment and like mini living, cause this is considered a micro studio, I don't think you should be afraid unless your work or your hobby requires you to have a lot of space. I'm able to film auditions in this apartment. I'm able to film YouTube videos cause I literally just set up my backdrop either on this side 
or on that side of the room and I just film videos or I set up a little corner. I used to have my desk on this side and then I had my desk uh, over there where it's at right now and then it used to be right here between two windows. So it definitely takes like playing around with the space but if you live alone or if you want to live alone and um, you think you can, you know, get rid of a few things and be able to live in a smaller space, I definitely recommend it because this apartment is allowing me to save $800 a month compared to the last place I was living at. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I make acting related videos three times a week. So if you're interested in acting, want to learn about acting, or if you're just curious, go ahead and subscribe. And at the end of every video, I do feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.